If you save all your shopping for the last second, sort of like I do, the one thing you can't forget are the stocking stuffers. And lucky for you, Nick Letson from the Southern Arizona Attractions Alliance is here with arguably the best thing you could buy this year. Nick, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure to see you. So we're talking about a way that people can give the gift of Southern Arizona, like I was saying, and that's through the Tucson Passport. Right. And it really is something that... Um, well, if you love Tucson like I do, this is really like one place where you can really kind of get it all in and in a way that you can read and really enjoy the attractions just on a whim if you want. Yeah. So let's talk specifically about what it does for you. If you buy it for yourself, mm -hmm. if you buy it for somebody, what are you going to get? So you're going to get two for one admission uh, to attractions all over town, not, not just the big ones, but the small, really interesting ones too. And so you'll get lots of savings just for, you know, $22. Yeah. And obviously it fits perfectly in a stocking. Right. Perfect size. I was joking. You know, you can put all of it, all of Southern Arizona in the stocking. And you're talking about mm -hmm. some of these big attractions, some of the smaller ones. Run us through some of the choices that people have uh, they can save using this passport. Sure. So you could go to, uh, you know, Reed Park Zoo, uh, Arizona Sonora Desert Museum. And then also fun places like uh, Old Tucson, Trail Dust Town. Um, and then lots of more educational things like the Mirror Lab and mm -hmm. um, we're really excited about all the new U of A attractions that we have. They're new partners for the Southern Arizona Attractions Alliance and we're really glad to have them on board. Right, just a little bit of everything. I mean, over 80 places that you mm -hmm. can save tons of money on. And I mean, this is for Tucsonans that have lived here for a long time and maybe haven't experienced all of that. This is for people coming in out of town. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really for anyone. And it's, you know, it's really perfect for people who have just moved to Tucson. Right. So they get to really, at a glance, in one book, they can see all the fun things that they can do year-round mm -hmm. um, and save money at the same time. So it's kind of like a map. It's kind of like uh, a guide to saving. It's a guide to fun. And it's so affordable and so worth the savings. It's a guide to Tucson. And like you were saying, like you were telling me before we came on the segment, it's great uh, for parents, too, because their kids can kind of flip through. Right, yeah. So I have a, a six-year-old daughter, and we have one in the car. And, you know, she will just be sitting back there. And, you know, I'm going to go to all these places anyway mm -hmm. as a parent. So, like, when she wants to go to the zoo, I know I've got a discount already for it. Um, and it's also, I like that it's tactile. That's, it's something that she can feel and she can look through and she can go, oh, I want to go here today. And not only do we go to the big attractions, but we also discover, you know, some of the smaller, very interesting educational ones like uh, Museum of the Horse uh, Soldier, Mirror Lab. Um, so it's really a fun way to spend our weekends and save money at the right. same time. Right. And you were saying it's tactile and of course you can get this little book, but you guys also have a really handy app too. Tell us yes, about the app. Yes. Yeah. So you could download the app um, right now from your phone and then that's a way that you can take it to attractions and redeem it in a digital way. So that's really good for, you know, younger kids and things like that. Um, yeah that like the smartphone. Embracing the 21st century. <laughs> That's so right. Guys, give people the choice. You can have the hardcover. You can have the app. But all of this is to say that it goes back to the nonprofit, which really gives back to Southern Arizona a lot, too. Right. What's it really benefit when people get this? Right. So it benefits the Southern Arizona Attractions Alliance at the same time as benefiting our local attractions. Mm -hmm. um, because obviously, when you spend money at the attractions, you support them. And then you uh, support basically Tucson's um, noticeability on the tourism scene in the world just by having those experiences and um, spending your money locally. Right. It's a good investment in the town. It's a good mm -hmm. investment in yourself for your entertainment, of course, uh, and in your kids to teach them everything that, that, you know, that's around town to really educate them. But it's really easy to get this. I mean, how, how can yeah. people get a hold of one through the app and, and how else? Yeah. Um, uh, you could go right now to the Tucson Visitor Center mm -hmm. on um, University Boulevard and pick one up. Um, today and then you can also go to TucsonAttractions.com to find a list. They're all over town yeah. um, of different places. Some of the attractions sell them and then some uh, retail stores sell them. So it's really easy to get a hold of them. Well, I think it's really a no-brainer. It's a great stocking stuffer. Yeah. It's a great gift for really anybody you can think of who wants anything to do with Southern Arizona, which should be right. everybody. And that's sort of the point of the book. So, Nick, as always, thank you so much for joining us. And here's a gift for you. Really? I yes. get my own? You thank get your you. own.
This is Happy great, holidays. an amazing present, Nick. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Now order the Tucson Attractions Passport now and save over $500. It's available online or at many locations like we were saying throughout Southern Arizona. And for more information, please visit TucsonAttractions.com or call 520-499-2662.